as said in the intro, ICP, um, which was originally um, had its Genesis event in 2021 um, by very smart people working on it. Dom, our founder, and uh, the entire R&D team created really something magical. But what I want to talk to you about today is in, in, in particular the AI part of the story. And I want to also underline that I congratulate everyone to be here because you're part of witnessing the fastest growing AI ecosystem in Web3 today. So, um, before I go into the ecosystem part and tell you a bit about what makes this technology so special and why we should all pay attention to this and why we all should work on getting adoption of the technology for the greater good of all of us, I just want to recap a bit why AI is important and obviously why decentralized AI or AI on a blockchain is actually a big deal for all of us. So, first of all, um, as all of you know in the meantime, AI is very transformative. I don't need to tell you that. You, you know that already. But AI is going to be at the heart of everything in the future. It's going to be at the heart of industries, of economies, and of our daily life. What that means is that for corporates, AI will become mission critical for competitive advantages. And um, in my former life, before I joined Affinity, I worked as a strategy consultant. And I can tell you that all of the blue chip companies are working on their own AI model out of two reasons. Number one is efficiency gains, but number two is really getting a competitive advantage. So for corporates, it becomes really mission critical to have a secure running AI model that can comply with regulations and all kinds of requirements. For all of us, there are concerns around privacy of AI, right? Because we're coming from a world where everyone was complaining about the fact that the big four tech companies have all of our data. And this idea of data as the new oil really was only true for a few selected companies and not for everyone. But now we're entering into a, an era where AI is going to eat more and more data. It's going to eat your data, my data. And we really need to ensure that personal AI that is going to be used is really benefiting you and it's privacy preserving as well. And then there's a third perspective on the matter of AI, which is actually taking the perspective of AI agents. Because we're going to go into a world where AI models are economically transacting with each other at one point in time. Right? So these three kind of problems that we have where AI needs to be mission critical, it needs to be privacy preserving, and we need to enable the technology to actually do the fast paced transactions um, on its own network that it needs to do, are what inspired uh, the Definity team to build uh, what we have built. And that is what you probably heard already as AI on chain, which is a major technological leap, which has a few main key attributes that I just want you to keep in mind without going too much into technical details. Number one, AI that runs fully on a blockchain, which is only possible on the internet computer infrastructure, is immune to cyber attacks. Big deal. Because the worst thing that can happen in the future where you as a corporate have an AI model that actually you depend on is mission critical, the worst thing that can happen is that this model stops or it get, it's get, uh, it get hacked or DDoS attacks or whatsoever. Second attribute of AI on the instant computer is verifiable inputs and outputs. And you already see this today in your daily life. Sometimes it's very hard to, to see if an AI input or a picture or a text is actually really genuine or if it's, if it's generated and, and so to say kind of fake. So with our technology, inputs and outputs of AI models will be verifiable. Number three, and that is something that's on our R&D roadmap that's coming soon, it's going to be privacy preserving. So you can ensure that um, the model runs in a privacy preserving way, it respects your data policies and so on. Attribute number four is that it's resilient or unstoppable. Why is that a big deal? Because for mission critical AI, think about 
traffic management, medical uh, operations, and so on, you don't want the model to stop. And we've seen this with centralized service over the past weeks where GPT had a few incidents where all of a sudden the model was down for maybe only like a minute or two, but still it was down, right? Um, AI running on the internet computer is resilient and unstoppable. It keeps on running. And then the last thing is, um, given that it's natively integrated into a blockchain infrastructure, it will enable very easily an AI to AI economy, which will allow AI models to transact digital assets because it lives in the kind of the same ecosystem. So AI on the internet computer is able to interact with wallets, have its own wallets and transact Bitcoin, Ethereum, ICP, uh, you name it. So all of this is empowered by a very strong R&D team that Definity is known for. Let me just see if that works. Yeah. Not really. Okay, then let me let me read it to you like this uh, without the fancy graphics. Um, so all of this is empowered by a few technological innovations that our R&D team has developed for the community to take it forward. Um, number one is the data store storage is enough to run a AI model. And that is a very unique uh, trait that only the internet computer has. Because as you know that other blockchains, or let me say normal blockchains, would only store a, a token database, while the Web3 cloud technology that we have is actually able to run entire AI models and, and store them. Second is um, our engineers optimized um, the floating point arithmetic for AI processing. And just to give you a comparison, we we launched this entire uh, technology to the public probably roughly like six months ago. Uh, after two months already, our engineers had a 10x efficiency improvement and there's more to come in the future. 10x efficiency improvement means it's it's faster to get the, uh, the inference done. There is also a seamless integration with Web2. Why is that important? Because obviously if you run an AI model, the AI model needs to interact with sources in the internet to receive data, to validate data and so on. Given that we have this unique infrastructure, you don't need separate oracles to kind of call data and validate data. You just natively interact with the internet. And number four, which is something I'm very excited about, and our engineers as well, is that we're going to have a GPU subnet at one point in time. Now, for those that, that don't maybe fully understand what the GPU subnet means, let me break it down. So... Today, our infrastructure runs on a CPU subnet. And obviously, if you know AI, then AI really strives on GPU power and not so much on CPU power. And today, we are uh, in our CPU infrastructure, we are already able to run a GPT-2 kind of model. And you will hear later on from the side AI who is actually uh, running that. Um, at that point in time, when we're going to enable the GPU subnet, you will be able to run large enterprise grades AI models. That is also going to be a, a, a massive thing. Now, the nice graphics that I presented will flash for a second, I guess. Okay, now we go to the next one, which is we have built all of this for a very strong community. And I mentioned in the beginning, it's the fastest growing ecosystem um, of AI in Web3. And our, our development community, which is a combination of Definity engineers and really community engineers, have already built, made something very incredible from my point of view, which is they developed a decentral AI manifesto, like a guideline on what the development of decentral AI needs to hold up to in terms of standards in order to be ethically correct, in order to be secure, and in order to actually fulfill all of the, the promises that we have with decentral AI. This is going to be on our website, uh, so there's going to be a link later on where you can read all of this in detail. But I just want to want to uh, close this out and um, just want to let you know that already today, over 60 projects are building AI-related uh, uh, products on the internet computer, which makes us the fastest growing ecosystem in, in Web3 across the entire AI value chain from infrastructure to development and training to the obviously most, most famous part, which is the interference, but also the security and verification. And later on in the day, you will hear from a few of our selected ecosystem projects that will give you kind of 
a better understanding and life use cases on what they're doing. So having said that, um, it's really our pleasure to, um, you know, kind of um, kick this off together with you and uh, invite everyone to build their next AI venture on the internet computer. And uh, I want to maybe close with a, with, a, with a quote, which I always find like uh, very inspiring for tech in particular, which is from Victor Hugo, which basically says that there's nothing stronger in the world than an idea whose time has come. And I think we've been thinking about decentral AI for, for a very long time on blockchain. Now is the time where you actually see specific real life use cases. And I wish you a, a great day, an inspiring day of a lot of great discussions and a lot of great examples from our ecosystem projects. Thank you.